One athlete is dead and several others are injured after a volleyball team was involved in a crash while traveling to a tournament in Texas last week. According to a statement from the Venom Volleyball Club, three team families were making the drive from Arizona to Austin for the Lone Star National Qualifier on Thursday. The team's coach and club founder Jimmy Gonzalez told KTVK that the families had originally planned to fly to Texas but switched travel plans after their flights were canceled due to weather conditions. He told the outlet that while making the drive, the group's SUV lost control after hitting black ice and it crashed head-on into a semi-truck. In the statement, the club wrote, With overwhelming pain in our hearts, one of our athletes has sadly passed away. Two other athletes are in critical condition but stable, and one former alumni traveling with the team was severely injured but in stable condition. Additionally, one of the parents involved in the crash was hospitalized and in stable condition, while the other two parents, who sustained minor injuries, have been discharged. The Kimball County Sheriff's Office told KTVK that five of the seven passengers in the SUV were ejected from the vehicle. Deputies told the outlet that those ejected were not wearing seatbelts. Authorities have not identified the victims of the crash, saying only that the girl who died was 17 years old. A GoFundMe page created on behalf of her family, though, identified her as the daughter of a beloved nurse. According to a post from the Arizona Storm Elite Volleyball Club, a moment of silence was held at the event for the late athlete, as well as the quote, players and mothers that were severely injured. Red ribbons were also worn in a show of support.